Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Adriana and in today's video we are going to be cleaning and decorating my living room. So I guess I should start off by saying that it's been a while since I've done one of these videos if you are new welcome i usually do decorate with me videos um and i usually do some clean and decorate with me videos and um so 2023 came in with a bang for me and my family oh my goodness january was a blur um i ended up getting sick as well as my mom and my daughter um and yeah it was a rough rough january so february for me is the redo <laughs> the february for me is the reset button I, I know everybody does january but for me it's february at least this year it is um so it's been a while since i was able to do a good clean in my living room um just a little update, I did spend quite a bit of time in my living room for the month of January. It was my bedroom, basically. I was sleeping on the sofa. Uh, my mom was in my room and my daughter and hers. So we were all sick. We were all keeping in our own space. Um, and yeah, so that that's what's been going on. And then at the end of January, we traveled thankfully we were all well enough to travel we were all much better um but yeah uh, so like i said january was a blur and i wasn't able to do my normal routines at home so that really um does something to me when i am not doing my my daily routines when i can't keep my my apartment clean and you know it's tidy that i was able to do um, but you know, I like to do my cleaning and, and whatnot. And I just, I wasn't able to do what I wanted to in January. I wasn't even able to film as much as I wanted to in January. So, um, so that, that's what was going on with us here. So today, as you can see, I started off with my sofas. I really wanted to, you know, as you see me here, just taking the cushions out, vacuuming, you know, they weren't as bad. You know, there was some dust in there, um, some glitter I found, perhaps from Christmas decorations. Um, so I just really wanted to get in there and, you know, use my lint remover because we find hair everywhere. <laughs> I'm surprised I'm not bald at this point. Um, and then I just wanted to also get um, behind my sofas. That I don't do as often. So my sofas are heavy. Um, so yeah, I don't really get to get back there as often. So uh, that was my goal today. And then of course, finish up packing away any winter slash Christmas that I had out. I really didn't have Christmas, but I still had some winter items like my winter village. Um, I needed to put that away. I did keep my, you know, winter pillow covers out as you will see, but yeah, I just wanted like it to be fresh and clean and just clutter free. I needed that for my mind so badly. So that is what we're doing today. We're going to be moving furniture, dusting, and I am not really going to decorate too much for Valentine's out here. I might put out a couple. Well, not I might. I do put out a couple of Valentine touches here and there but really extremely minimal i will link my video from last year for my valentine's decorate with me i was i decorated a lot more i'll say that i had a valentine's tree and everything so i'll link that playlist below if you want to check that out and i'll link the video um my most recent video which was my hot cocoa bar for valentine's i did you know decorate that but everything else is very minimal. I didn't want to overdo it. Like I said, I had a I had quite of a January and I just didn't feel I didn't have the energy to do any more than I did. <laughs> so um yeah, 
I hope you enjoy the video guys and um, it's gonna be a little chatty here and there I hope you don't mind that I try to keep the video as short as possible without skipping too much so I hope you enjoy the video This is how I put away all my seasonal decor. I have shared a few videos on how I do this for fall and Christmas. I have very limited space in the apartment, so I try to keep the number of bins to a minimum. And by doing that, I have to pack each bin up all the way to the rim. I wanted to share this cute Christmas cooking book. Actually, it's a Christmas baking book that's what it is <laughs> my sisters and i we exchanged gifts in january um as well as well as this beautiful christmas devotional i'm sorry i'm not in frame completely i wasn't aware of that but i was trying to show you guys the pictures they're beautiful so i'm really looking forward to next christmas when i can do some recipes from that baking book and also read the beautiful devotional but this was the last of the decor. This is the last bin that I needed to fill up. I do have a couple of items, like wintry items left in my coffee bar. I did my coffee bar over for winter. There's a video on that as well. I'll share that below if you guys haven't seen that. So that still looks the same, um, but it's very, very few items and they're all kind of small so i can put those away easily but um that's about it and i just really was looking forward to just clearing everything out so i'm glad i was able to do that so we're going to start tackling the back of this sofa i'm gonna move the sofa um, and clean back there and as i said i have very limited space here so i have to be creative sometimes with my storage and i do have items behind my sofa i know you can't tell from this angle you can't really tell in person either um, but i don't have the sofa all the way to the wall i do have some space back there and i do have to put some things that i just didn't have space for anywhere else anywhere else in the closet so that's what you're gonna see me taking out back here and yeah this is the process for me i do section by section when i'm cleaning So it wasn't too bad back here. Um, there was, you'll see in a minute, there was dust bunnies. It was, it definitely needed to be cleaned. So this is your reminder to move those sofas if you haven't done so in a while. Get back there with your Swiffer or your vacuum and uh, get to cleaning back there because sometimes we forget these areas. And then when we do finally go to clean it, it's like, ah! <laughs> so yeah i'm putting everything back but i wanted to give you a quick look at my artwork that i bought back i think in the fall i shared that with you guys so that goes on this wall where my winter picture is right now 
I will bring that back out in the spring. I bought it from Hobby Lobby, I love it. And when I bought it, I put it up for the fall, but I knew that it would work for the springtime as well. So I'm looking forward to that. But I'm still enjoying my winter uh, printable picture. I bought that off an Etsy um, shop. Was it an Etsy shop? I can't remember, but I'll link it below if I can remember. Um, and then the frame that I put it in was from Michaels. I love it. Um, I shared that with you guys, I think, on Instagram. So I'm going to still enjoy my winter picture with my winter pillowcases and um, just putting out all my everyday decor that I already had on this shelf. Now, this joy sign, it is for Christmas or it was for Christmas, but when I bought it, I loved it so much. I knew that I wanted to leave it out all year round. It's wood, so... You know, I think it goes fine with your everyday decor and it is one of my favorite words. So I'm leaving it out. It's not going to stay there where you saw me put it. But anyway, I am here going through my greenery little bin because I wanted to put some greenery on the shelf and in this beautiful jar that I bought from the Target dollar spot during the fall season. Yeah, I felt like this little area needed a little bit of greenery and I love the way it came out. I did the same process behind this couch. I just didn't film it. I was trying to save some battery and save myself a lot of time as well on editing. So I did move this sofa, cleaned back there. So I'm just putting everything back in its place. This lamp I bought from Bob's Furniture. When did I buy this? I can't remember. I'm horrible with remembering dates. Mm, I, I'm gonna say maybe a year ago yeah because I remember I did my apartment refresh it's gonna be a year already that I did my apartment refresh so um, there's also a playlist on that if you guys want to see that how I painted my apartment um, I'll leave that below too so you guys can check it out but I really love that lamp it's very very nice and I'm watering my only living plant that I have that I've managed to keep alive somehow um but now we are on to the other side of the living room this side obviously it's easier to get to daily so it's not as bad as the other side i should say it's not as bad as behind the sofa because i try like i said even when i was sick i try to tidy keep things tidy um i didn't do any kind of major cleaning but i did keep things tidy and i do pass the swiffer um every other day you know it's pretty easy to do it on this side of the living room so it wasn't that bad So on this console table, everything you see in the bottom shelf is going to stay there. I'm not changing that up. On the top shelf, I'm going to add uh, my candlesticks that I had on my coffee table. And I'm adding a vase with some faux greenery. And that's it. I like to switch around items. I've mentioned this many times. Um, items that I've had in another area, I'll switch them up. That's a great way to make things look new without buying them believe it or not it's just if you see an item in a new spot it kind of gives it like a new life that's how i see it anyway 
but here I am, you'll see, super simple, nothing crazy here. And you'll also see that I like to decorate with books. That's an easy, inexpensive way to decorate as well. Um, I'm just keeping it really clean. Nothing major on this side. Like I said, at the beginning of the video, I wasn't going to decorate a lot for Valentine's at all. So you'll see later. It's I literally just have like one or two items of Valentine's. I kept some my winter pillows out and yeah, just simple enough. And then on this side, I've talked about this wall and these shelves. They're old. I don't like them, but listen, guys, honestly, I don't want to do too much more in this apartment. We really would love to move, but I'm not sure if it can happen this year. So I don't want to invest money in this apartment any more than I already have. So I'm just working with what I have. Um, I know I can probably buy a bigger TV stand, this uh, little um, TV unit, you want to call it. It was a hand-me-down. I've had it for years and years. Um, I probably can get something maybe like a bigger unit with like built-in shelves, but I don't want to spend that money for this apartment anyway um not until i know what the plans are long term to be honest so i'm just going to deal with what i have i am forever grateful that i have a roof over my head i don't ever want to seem that i am not grateful for that because i know so many people are struggling right now so many people don't have a place to live and it just it breaks my heart to know that how so many landlords are raising rents like ridiculous amounts and I am very very grateful that I am not in that situation so counting my blessings and just letting God guide me and just trying to see where he wants us trying to just wait and see because I know God has a plan and I'm just going to be patient and wait and see where we end up next year. If we have to stay here another year, then so be it. If not, I pray that he opens up any kind of paths that he can for us to move on to another area. Because honestly, although I love my apartment, I do try to keep it as nice as possible. Um, I can't control what goes on outside of my apartment and the common areas that I share with other people. And I can't control how much the rental office does, even though I request for things. You know, you guys know who, <laughs> if you guys rent, you know the deal. So that is what we're mostly unhappy with. You know, um, the upkeep outside is not the best. And the inside of the apartment needs major updating. And so those are the things that we're not happy with. And we hope that we don't have to deal with it much longer. But other than that, other than that, guys, <laughs> everything else is A-OK. -okay and we'll deal with what we have to deal with, right? But anyway, we are coming towards the end of the video. As you can see, I am now putting the touches of valentine's here on this side of the room and i love it i love these faux roses i bought those i can't even remember was that hobby lobby maybe a couple years ago not sure um and then the beaded garland with the hearts that was from home goods and yeah the pillowcase is super well not super old but it's it's a couple of years old and then look guys look who made an appearance i found this cutie ladybug hanging out in the corner of my wall on this day that i was cleaning it was beautiful outside so i had my balcony door open so and the window so little ladybug came to visit i heard their good luck so i didn't mind <laughs> But um, yeah, so we're coming to the end, as I said, finishing up here, vacuuming. I didn't mop. I did want to steam my floors, but I ran out of distilled water. So I couldn't do that in this video. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I wasn't too chatty. 
I hope you didn't mind it. Thank you for sticking around to the end. If you did stick around this far, give me a, a heart emoji in the comments below. <laughs> and I'll leave all my playlists below that I talked about so you can go check them out if you haven't already. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks so much, guys. Until next time. Bye.